Welcome to today's edition of Street Parliament. We are here today to sit with them, talk with them. I don't really know my lawmaker, but I. This uh, lack of a uh, 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 job. Do you know your lawmaker representing the National Assembly? Hi, viewers. Welcome to another edition of Street Parliament. Today, we are going to be talking on the sexual harassment bill as recently introduced by the Deputy Senate President, Senator Omar Agege from Delta State, who is proposing 14 years jail term for offenders. I'm in support of that law because as a girl in school, if you pass your paper, the lecturers are supposed to, to give you your mark. Now that they are using it, if you sleep with them, they will give you the mark. If you don't sleep with them, they will fail you. I am mean, in support. If they can increase it to 20 years imprisonment, I will be happy about it. So you want 20 years I want, years 40 years is, 40 years is too small, so that they will learn their lesson. And our girls will be saved. Do you have a sister that has ever been harassed by a lecturer or... You yourself are Myself, I was harassed. So you are a victim? Yes, I, I was once a victim. Of sexual harassment yes. in the uh, institution? Yes. Uh, I'm in support in, of that because even me, I will become a student tomorrow and I would like to go there and pass my paper. I don't want any harassment. So if, even though they can increase it to 100, wow. <laughs> I'm in support of that so that we, the female, will be free from that. Don't Thank you. Think you. Men are also being uh, harassed yeah. by female uh, lecturers. Yeah, it's true. So, what do you think should be done to such a female lecturer who is harassing uh, the men? Anybody that is doing that kind of a thing, if they can, they can catch that person right-handed. Please, anything that they want to do with the person, they should do with the person. This sexual harassment of a thing. It's not something that is not common in our society. It's a very common something in the society. Most especially, we know is in the male fold, more than the female fold. But we should still look inward to know some of the causes of this. Yes, we are talking about sexual harassment. Are we aware that some students are seducing lecturers? Are we also aware that this uh, uh, sense for mark of a thing that some students are deliberately uh, initiating into the lecturers? Have you ever been seduced by a female lecturer? Or were you ever seduced by a female lecturer? No, but I've seen one. During my time in the university, University of Oko, I know of a student that got a female lecturer pregnant. Pregnant a senior lecturer. Yes. So the proposal that 14 years dealt him is your punishment. a welcome development. He's a good one. He's a good one. It is a welcome development, uh, most especially in our time in this country, whereby we must give priority to the affairs of humanity in service. Therefore, if anyone is found wanting over the matter, the person should face the arm of the law concerning the harassment. Anyway, the issue of harassment has to be established before the, the, um, the, the person can be convicted. So the, the Senate coming up with that, we check made the activities of everybody, both the man and the woman, to enable them live a decent life and know the implication of harassing a girl or a boy. It's a good step. But if you want to think of it, it's really about the power play just because it's not just about the lecturers. So I don't think it should be limited to just lecturers. We find it everywhere. Anybody, when you're in a higher position, you try to harass um, the one that is trying to gain favor from you one way or the other sexually. So I, it's, a, it's a good one, it's a good step. But I don't think it should be limited to just lecturer students. Um, harassment because if you look at it, um, female students also harass lecturers. So what's, what what we, what we call that, or what will be done of that? <laughs>